chi can you find the value of x in this diagram welcome back to my channel so let's get straight to the point without wasting time so the question this is not drawn to scale the question says that we should find the value of x if a b is 2x f b is 12 and c b is 8 okay the first thing we need to recognize here is that vertically opposite angles are equal right so it means that at this point f that dfe so it means that triangle angle dfe is equal to angle afb all right the reason is vertically opposite angles are equal, vertically opposite. Now also angle D is equal to angle B. That is angle EDF. Angle EDF is equal to angle FBA. Why? Alternate angles. Remember that when you have two parallel lines, of course, this C is parallel to AB since this is a rectangle. So when you have two parallel lines and you have a transversal across them, angles here and here, we call it the Z angle, are alternate angles and they are equal. Similarly, if I draw this this way, this angle here will also be equal to this angle there. They are all alternate angles. So, as a result of that, alternate angles are equal, and that is why triangle EDF is equal to triangle FBA. All right, or ABF, anyone. Then the two triangles are equal, meaning that the remaining one is also equal to the other side. The same thing, alternate angles. Alternate angles are equal. So, in conclusion, this simply means that triangle AFB is similar to triangle DEF. All right, these two triangles are similar, and when two triangles are similar the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal when two triangles are similar the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal all right so if we say a b a b corresponds to what d e right it should be equal to b f over fd right okay so a b a b over d e right should be equal to b f over f d now a b is 2x and d e is unknown not unknown anyway because we are told that a b is equal to 2x and we know that a b should be equal to dc right okay so d e is half of dc so this simply means that dc is 2x as well and d e is half of 2x that is half of dc and this we divide this we have that de is x so this place is x so we have 2x over x is equal to now bf our bf is 12 all over our fd is unknown we don't know fd so if we cross multiply we have 12x is equal to fd times 2x all right so dividing both sides 
by 2x, we will have 12x over 2x is equal to fd 2x over 2x. So 2x, we divide 2x. Before that, please hit the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our lovely videos. We upload our videos as often as possible. Tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch. Now give us a thumbs up if you actually love what we are doing. Thank you very much. So from here, we have x, we remove x, and 2, we divide 12 to give us 6. So this implies that fd is equal to 6. Now, we have fd to be 6. Okay. Now let us draw this triangle out. Let us draw triangle DAP out. Okay. So this is D, this is A, and this is B. And definitely angle A is 90 degrees. The reason is because this is a rectangle. So as long as this is a rectangle, the inner angles are 90 degrees, okay? So we have 90 degrees here. Then DB, DB is 6 plus 12, which is 18. Um, AD is the same thing as BC, which is 8. And AB is 2X, okay? Using Pythagorean theorem, So using Pythagorean theorem, we can say the hypotenuse squared, that is 18 squared, is equal to 8 squared plus 2x squared. Now 18 squared is what? Let's use one of my tricks to get that. I want you to check my playlist on that. You are going to see different tricks then you can study that here uh, in the playlist, okay? So this is how it goes. 8 squared is 64. 1 squared is 1, which can be written as 0, 1. So ensure that you write your numbers in 2s. Now, 1 times 8 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So always leave the first number and write from the second. So we add. So the answer is 200 and. 324. That should be the square of 18. 324. So we go ahead and write 324 equals 8 squared is 64 plus 2 squared is 4 and x squared. So if we transfer this to this side, we have 3. 2, 4 minus 64 is equal to 4x squared. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 12 minus 6 is 6. We bring down 2. So we have 260 equals 4x squared. Now let's divide both sides by 4. If we do that, we have divided by 4 divided by 4. 4, we divide this to give us um, 6, 6 remainder 2, divide 20 to give us 5. So we have 65 is equal to 4, we divide itself to give us 1, 1 times x squared is x squared. But we are looking for the value of x. So we take square root of both sides, and if we do that, we'll have that x squared, square root of x squared, is equal to square root of 65. So this, we remove this, and we have that x is square root of 65. And that is our answer. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.